So having worked out how we can calculate the pH for acids, we can now use Kw to work out the pH for alkalis. So we know that Kw is equal to uh, the concentration of H plus uh, times concentration of OH minus. And Kw at 298 Kelvin is 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So if we substitute that into the Kw expression, uh, if we know the concentration of OH minus from the concentration of the alkali, we can work out the pH of the alkali. So let's do some examples. First of all, pH of 0.2 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide. Uh, so uh, in this instance, the concentration of OH minus will be the same as that of NaOH uh, because it's a monobasic alkali. Um, so we can substitute the concentration of OH minus in, rearrange the equation to give us the concentration of H plus, and substitute that into our pH expression to give us the pH of being 13.3. Example number two, uh, we now need to find a pH of a 0 0.05 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide solution. So again, we can get our Kw expression, but in this case, in order to work out the concentration of OH-, we need to double the concentration of strontium hydroxide. Um, we do that, substitute it in to find the concentration of H+, and from that, we can work out our pH to be 13.00. And finally, example number three uh, is uh, a dilution one. So again, um, we can find out the concentration of OH- minus from the concentration of NaOH. We can then work out our diluted concentration uh, by times in by the original volume and dividing by the diluted volume, like so. And that gives us uh, the diluted concentration to be 0.133. And we can use our Kw expression to find the concentration of H plus and finally substitute that into our pH expression and our pH we find to be 13.12.